Welcome to sportsbookreview.com, your home of the College Bowls. We're getting right into the meat of the action, and we're going to go to Texas. It's the Cotton Bowl. It's the Memphis Tigers taking on Penn State Lions at 10 and 2. The Memphis Tigers, they're 12 and 1. They're getting seven. If you want to go with Penn State, they're getting six and a hook. Before we go for what book, let's have a look to see or listen to see what the big ragu and the big boss are happening. What's happening, boys? Good morning. What's going on? What's going on? Big boss, Memphis getting seven. They're 12 and one. Penn State, 10 and two, giving up six and a half in a place. Which way do you fall? This this is a game that's uh, it's kind of tricky. Now, Memphis... Is having a, I would say, a Cinderella season this year. But uh, uh, Penn State had to fight for everything that they got. You know, they got two losses. One, a, a good Ohio State team. Another, it was a, you know, a short margin of loss to a Minnesota team. So I think Penn State, uh, I could say, had it the roughest this season and deserves this game a little more than uh, Memphis in this one. Memphis, on the other hand, 12 and one is a, a nice look for them. Um, you know, off top, but um, in the in the Penn State defense is really really good. Although uh, Memphis offense is very good as well, they uh, rank number ten, and uh, they're going to be going against a defense that's ranked number eighteen. So that's going to be a nice matchup right there. Could keep us under the total, but um, I'd have to you know it, it, with the the job that they did over there in the Big Ten this year on the competition level and the uh, matchups and, you know, the effort they put forth in some of those games, I'm going, I'm going to kind of lean with the big 10 almost every time. So uh, although this Memphis team is having a Cinderella season, that that could really lift these guys up, you know, to complete the season with a bow win. But um, this Penn state team, they, they tough, man. I'm going to take t the Penn state side. Penn state giving up that six on a hook, not quite the TD. Ragu. Are you going the same way? More, more than likely. But let me let me put a little um, let me put a little let me put a little different spin on this game for you guys. Uh, why Memphis is twelve and one? There's a guy named Mike Norvell who just uh, got hired on by FSU. Let me tell you something. That guy's a heck of a football coach, and he did a great job with this program. So Cinderella with the golden slipper or the big bad wolf, it don't matter. They won twelve games, and they won them for a reason. Well coached team with a, with a, with some three star recruits, no, nonetheless. But anyways, in this spot here, you know, with with Norvell being gone and Penn State, like DJ said, you know, had some real tough games in the Big Ten. Uh, they had some quality wins. They beat Cincinnati. Don't forget back to back weeks to get to the uh, New Year's Day bowl, or you know the bowl. The uh, New, I guess New Year's, is New Year's Day. No, not New Year's Day. But anyways, they got to the they got to the uh, big game against Penn State and. Uh, a lot, a lot of different looks with Penn State. You know, they had to go up against their tough class of teams. So I like, uh, I like Penn, uh, Penn State giving up the six and a half. I know it's down to six and a half at some spots. So yeah. that kind of, kind of got me concerned a little bit. But uh, I just think they're going to be up against it without that key component, the head coach on the sidelines. A lot of nice talent. They well balanced team. You know, when they need to run, they run. When they need to pass, they pass. But Penn State does it all too. So, and they like to put their foot on the gas. So, this could be a morale, uh, a de demoralizing game for uh, Memphis without their coach there to back them. Yeah, I'm always suspicious when I see Brady White's thrown for three and a half thousand yards, and you've got Demonte Coxy going for nearly 1150 on the ground. I'm happy to go with Penn State at minus six and a half, and you go to Bet Online. Go to sportsbookreview.com forward slash bet online. You'll get your six and a half. It's plus seven elsewhere. So get to bet online. Have a really good look at that. Also, Sean Clifford for Penn State. He knows how to get the ball done. And he moves the ball around. Balance is the word for Penn State. And myself, Ragu, and Big Boss, we're all happy to go with Penn State. Be sure to join us when we go back through our next bowl game. <laughs> 